Today, I'm here in Korea and I'ma try McDonald's. Some time ago, I asked you what country I should visit to try McDonald's and you guys chose South Korea. So here we are. This looks amazing. Just look at these pics everywhere. Look at this, there's a lot of things I don't know. Let's explore. No, but will you look at this? And these are only the novelties. I think this is gonna be a historic order. Look at this, the 1955 burger. It's McDonald's first burger ever. It's the original taste of McDonald's, the start of it all. Okay, so here we go. There's a pork burger at McDonald's, a shrimp burger too. You can have that one, I'll get it for you. No? Uh, I don't like shrimp burgers. Oh, you don't like them? Too bad. Here it's nothing but burgers. Okay, some of these things are incredible. McChicken, mozzarella, and look at all the different drinks they have. We got the classics, we got lemon McFizz. I know this is gonna be awesome. There's string cheese. Okay. We're in for a treat. I'm telling you, we won't be able to move afterwards. <gasps> they have a pretzel McFlurry. The kitchen guys are gonna lose it. We're gonna feast. You know what? We're gonna place the order, but before getting McDonald's, I wanna take you to an extraordinary place. We're gonna try fake McDonald's. Here it is, we just got here. No brand burger. Why pay a lot for a brand? See, it's kind of like McDonald's or Burger King, but no brand. And their slogan is why spend lots of money when you're only paying for a brand. So we're gonna try it. It's supposed to be awesome. What's really funny is that wherever there's a no brand burger, there's a McDonald's right across it. They have all sorts of things. Crunch squid. They say it's really tasty. What else we got? Burgers. Look at this. The burgers look pretty classic. Let's order that. What? That? Let's try it. They also have fake Coke. We're gonna order their Big Mac burger. I think that's gonna, it's gonna have that Korean taste. There's a Korean taste, which is really peculiar. It's actually really, really cheap. 12 euros for all this, amazing. Actually, this looks great. Oh, it's incredible. The fries and all, everything looks really good. We've been here for two days. We're having a good time. We've eaten quite a lot and we've noticed that food has a Korean taste. See, there's a taste that you get everywhere. No matter what you're eating, it's just there. We call it the Korean taste and it's not a good sign. Yeah, it's not good at all. <laughs> this, this is, you always choose the worst drinks. Don't order this, it's disgusting. I mean, it's like cafeteria coffee. Now the fries, I gotta say they look nice. I love when they keep the skin on. Mm. The fries are good. They're not great though. Are they industrial too or? Yeah, industrial. They're okay, but they're not as good as McDonald's or Burger King's fries. We also got some bizarre fries. I think they're butter fries. Butter and sugar, I think. That looks like Parmesan to me. Oh shit. there's that Korean taste. Oh la la, you get the butter and sugar. Wow, this is... Is it better than sugar pasta? No, it's disgusting. So basically, what's this? They're fries with butter and sugar. It has melted butter and sugar and Parmesan. These flavors make no sense at all. I mean, look, there's... That's melted butter. Not approved. Oh my god, another weird invention. I don't know why, but this is the first country where food doesn't look tasty. Just look at this. A hell of a lot of pepperoni, mayonnaise sauce, onions, a steak, some cheddar, some classic cheese. Okay, let me try this. A nice surprise, it's good. However, there is another surprise. Usually in Korea, when something is good, it's always super spicy. I mean, it's spicier than Tabasco. It's approved, but it's complicated because it's really spicy. Before trying the last burger and this soda, we're gonna try this. Look at this. At first sight, they look great, but they're octopus nuggets. Oh sh This is awful. Wah. I love octopus, but look at this. It's like ground octopus meat. It's disgusting. It's like a fish concentrate. And honestly, it's not good. Okay, we're gonna try their signature burger, which is like their Big Mac, their Royal Deluxe, you see? So what's this? Okay, there's quite a lot of lettuce, tomatoes, sauce, cheddar. It kind of looks like a Royal Deluxe. It also smells like a Royal Deluxe. Mm, I really like the sauce. It's a bit like cocktail sauce. However, the meat quality wise is not very good. But overall, it's a good burger. We're gonna go to McDonald's and I'm really excited about it because they make a burger like in 1955. It's McDonald's first burger. It tastes like the very first burger they served at McDonald's. That's really crazy. It's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna try that. Anyways, this burger approved. Do you think this is gonna taste like Coke or more like Pepsi or something else? The smell, I get Pepsi vibes. That's not good. Too bad, this tastes like Pepsi Max. 
We're gonna start with the fries. Look at them. They aren't the same color as McDonald's classic fries. It's the first time I've seen this. Look, they're so weird. Mmm. Oh, the fries are really delicious. They're like McDonald's fries, but even better. You know what these remind me of? The fries I used to eat as a child. They're like nostalgic fries. Mmm. Chicken, tomato, mayo. It's like a royal deluxe, but with chicken. Mmm. The chicken is nicely breaded, a bit spicy, well-seasoned, very peppery, a bit too spicy. Seriously, it's great. Here we go. Let's see what we have here. Oh, the burger is scorching hot, you guys. I think this isn't beef. Hello, let's learn something new. What is bulgogi? It's a dish made of thin, marinated slices of beef or pork, which are grilled directly over flame or on the stove. We have an egg, some lettuce, some sauce. It's not beef. It's actually pork. I don't usually eat a lot of pork. I don't love it. But their pork is supposed to be great. Oh, I'm shocked. Yeah, it's incredible. It's very juicy. It's been a long time that I've had a nice surprise at McDonald's. This is an exceptional burger. It's simple, effective. Honestly, it's a 10. Oh, look at this. What do we have inside the wraps? They're chicken tenders. Those are usually spicy. Mmm, it's spicy. Spicier than the burger. Regarding the texture, inside it's kind of like a chicken nugget, and outside, the coating is like... I'd say it's a mixture between KFC and nugget coating. It's very good. We got a Coke Zero with lemon. It smells just like regular Coke. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I'd say it's like lemon Coke, but better. I wonder what's at the bottom. Look, there's lemon syrup here. I'm gonna use a straw to mix all the lemon syrup in. Oh yeah, it's like a Diabolo soda and it's zero too, oh my God. The burgers here are spectacular. Will you look at this? It even has a little burger cover. Oh la 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 la. Will you look at all this sauce? This is absolutely crazy. I don't know if the sauce is very spicy or not, but here we have a McChicken with mozzarella. It's good, but it doesn't taste like a McChicken. Yeah, there's some sauce, some spicy tomatoes, mozzarella, but in the end, it doesn't cut it. I'm a bit disappointed. Now, I think this is gonna be just as weird as the shrimp burger, you know? Let's try it. It looks like Ficello cheese. It's obviously Ficello. I've never understood why people love it so much. I get the feeling you're either Team Ficello or Team Baby Bell, but you're either one or the other. It's actually good. In France, I don't like it, but here, it's good. This burger has cabbage, bacon, pork, and a green tea sauce. With all these ingredients, I bet it's weird. Uh, I don't love it. Actually, it's the sauce I don't like. The bulgogi steak is delicious, but the pork and the sauce? Nope. We're gonna try the cheese sticks. They look pretty classic. I'm gonna try this sauce. Yeah. If you don't order these sticks, don't worry, you won't be missing much. And the sauce? I don't love it. McDonald's has a lot of better sauces. This is... Well, I'm not gonna go into detail, but it's meh. Will you look at this? This burger caught my eye because the bread looks great. Is that cornbread? Huh? It looks like cornbread because it's yellowish. Oh, but it's gorgeous. Will you look at this? And honestly, it looks delicious. The chicken is nicely breaded. Mmm. It went like this. At first it tasted really good, but all of a sudden I got a dusty smell. It was really weird. Kind of like the fast food we tried in Poland. Honestly, I feel like these pieces of chicken are coated with dust or something. I'm really disappointed. It was looking good. We got a drink made from a weird fruit. It's like a mixture of orange and something else. I should have got the mango one. You know what this is? It's a slushy that tastes like orange medicine. I mean, this has the exact same taste as those fizzy orange medicines. Okay, this is thank you and goodbye. They gave me like a whole lettuce head. Like Yeah, yeah, they gave you the whole yeah, thing. Just look at this. It's a shrimp burger. It doesn't look good. Honestly, it's not good. Does it have whole shrimp? No, it's actually shrimp meat, but... Uh, okay, I get it. It's not awful, but I mean, who'd come to McDonald's and order a shrimp burger? These are wings, but they're breaded like... I mean, they almost look like giant nuggets, not like KFC wings. They smell good, though. Mmm. And we have this Cajun spicy sauce. 
This sauce? Wow. Ooh. Take it easy with the spices. It's very spicy. I mean, you don't feel the spices right away, but don't worry, because then you will feel them. I'll probably feel them tomorrow, too. Now we're gonna try McDonald's first burger ever. McDonald's burger, just like in 1955. Will you look at this McDonald's very first burger? Here it is. This is what made them famous. This is McDonald's taste, not the Big Mac, not the McChicken, a burger with lettuce, tomato, sauce, grilled onions, bacon. Before I take a bite, like the video if you love discovering Korean McDonald's. The moment has come. 1955 burger, here we go. Oh yeah, it's like a Royal Deluxe, but better, because the onions are caramelized. Oh my god, it's delicious. And now, we have a vanilla Oreo and coffee ice cream. In fact, it's an espresso with vanilla ice cream and Oreos. It doesn't look that great, but the taste, mmm. We're gonna finish with a McFlurry, and look at this. My McFlurry has chocolate pretzels. They're huge. Wow, seriously, best McFlurry ever. And if you wanna see other McDonald's,